What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another Wilson Garage video. Hopefully you like the intro video of us kind of cleaning up the Civic. As you can tell on the title of this video, we are the we have one question. How much did this Civic cost? I went through all my Amazon stuff and got everything added up of what we bought and I'm going to go through it here real quick. Um, but before we do that, all the stuff that we did buy off of Amazon, there is some affiliate links down in the uh, comments, or not in the comments, but the, the description of the video. Um, if you guys go ahead, go and click on any of those, and then even do any rest of your shopping, it actually helps out the channel, gives us a little kickback, um, helps us buy more product and get more videos out to you guys, the viewers. Also on our Instagram, um, we are doing a lot of stuff that you can uh, look at before it even comes to YouTube. So if you guys want to go over there and follow me on Instagram, KCWilson59, that would be awesome. Okay, so let's go through it. Um, so I, if you, any of you guys uh, noticed, I did buy this car for my brother. Um, I did buy it from him for five hundred dollars. We we bought the turbo kit from a friend of mine, so it was used. But uh, so I wanted, but we did have to buy other stuff to make the turbo kit work. So the turbo kit, the new manifold, couplers, uh, return oil line, oil feed line piping, um, extra piping, and like the turbo exhaust flange, uh, a few other things like some metal gaskets whatnot. Uh, that all came out to $675. I also bought the ECU from that same friend that we got the turbo kit from and so the ECU with the Han data and the capacitors that we replaced comes out to five seventy, five hundred and seventy dollars. Now we're going to the fuel side of things. Um, this including fuel injectors. There's some things that I did buy that I didn't end up using. So like the uh, top hats to some injectors um, that I didn't end up using. The injectors I got for free. Um, However, so we did buy the fuel rail and that included the injectors with it. Also, some um, AN barb fittings, hose, and fuel pump. That all came out to $225. Now, I did have to swap out the fuel pump for another one because the one I bought died, and but the one I had uh, was from another car. Um, it was my 04 Cobras pump, or one of them. Also the fuel pressure regulator. The fuel pressure regulator, I also had them on my Cobra at one point in time, and I did not put any of that in this pricing because I didn't buy it specifically for this car. However, um, if you guys are doing a build, you can use the stock fuel rail and stock fuel pressure regulator that's on the rail for a application like this. Um, that's also, So that would have already came with the car obviously. So that's another reason why I didn't put the regulator pricing on here because we could have used the stock stuff. And I did not actually have to buy the regulator at this moment in time. Alright moving on. So the AEM wideband and the gauge pod came out to $200. Um, and that's really it. Uh, a lot of these I did add a few more $10, $15 to to cover some of the stuff like buying from O'Reilly's or whatever. Um, and that all came out to two thousand one hundred and seventy dollars now this car did have stock exhaust on it whenever I got it and I did end up selling the 
catalytic converter for $550, which covered the cost of the car plus more. So if you minus that off of our total, that's $1,620 for a pretty much a full turbo kit or turbo car with the Honda at ECU. Um, yeah, fueling everything that needs to be done to make this thing work. Now, this is one of the, also one of the things that kind of st stunk for me is this turbo kit did not fit the car. I ended up having to modify this kit, especially the cold side piping, to make it work. Um, so in order, in order to do that, I also had to buy the welder that you guys saw in one of the last videos. And the welder did cost me around $1,000. All said and done, gas, filler metal, everything. But I am I do not want to include this in this build because that welder is a tool and whenever we start doing other stuff on this channel, we will definitely be using that welder and that will it also just opens up the ability is to do so much more and do so much more on our own. Now comes the next question what would I do different um, so I if I was to buy another car and do the same exact thing I would probably end up just buying a eBay turbo kit and or piecing together a turbo kit that I I guess I wouldn't know if it works exactly until I received it, but a uh, description of the product that I would buy would say that it would fit and would work for a D-Series car. Um, that way I wouldn't have had to modify anything, and it would have, to the extent that we had to modify it, all right, so what is next for the car? Um, definitely need to get it tuned, either by me or by somebody else. I'm definitely gonna be trying first, but if I cannot do it, I will probably end up sourcing somebody to help me out or tune it all together. Um, that cost is usually between three to $400, depending on who you go to. Um, also, unfortunately, my ECU started to do what it did before we put the capacitors in it. Um, stopped priming the fuel pump and um, did not does not read any sensors on the engine whenever I hook up my laptop to it. I have been in contact to um, Honda and I mean because it's the weekend right now, hopefully. I will be able to hear back from them, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to send that ECU in to get repaired, and if not, replaced. Um, it's really, really frustrating. Uh, we've been fighting this car this whole time, and you guys have been right there with us. But I'm going to keep on pushing and try to get this car 100% so you guys can see it doing some... Uh, some races, highway poles, and then it's the winter time right now here in the Midwest, but uh, come spring, maybe we can source some drag slicks and go put it down the quarter mile and see how slow it is. <laughs> and yeah, so that being said, everybody, thank you so much for watching this series. It was really fun. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're going to be doing some more stuff with it hopefully soon um, and I will definitely keep you up to date once the ACU and stuff gets back but um, hit that subscribe button throw a comment down in the comments below and hit the like button also if you want to get notifications of when our videos post hit the bell icon and we're just gonna keep on pushing and get this YouTube channel just keep on soaring with subscribers and views and just do it as best we can. Keep learning. Alright everybody, we are going to get out of here and we'll catch you on the next one.